This episode of Ultra Mobility Lifestyle is brought to you by Pleasure Way. Hi everyone, and welcome to Ultra Mobility Lifestyle, where I give you the tips and tricks for living the ultra mobile life. I'm your host, Neil Balthaser, and today we're talking about the ultra luxury of having a shower in your vehicle and what I do to make my van shower experience one of the things I most look forward to. Now, I'll be honest, the idea of having a wet bath wasn't alluring when I first got the van. I wasn't keen on what I thought would be a lot of work to set up and tear down the bathroom, but it turns out that that was a lot of fear about nothing, as you'll see. The biggest advantage of using my own shower is cleanliness and convenience. And it turns out that with a few tips, the experience can be pretty darn good. Here are some of the things that we're going to need in order to create a great wet bath experience. First, you'll want a low flow shower head with good pressure and an on off switch. This is the one that I use. It's very lightweight. I think it's rather stylish and it has a flexible metal hose, which is important since you're going to be holding it and moving it around inside of the shower. The entire head is the on off switch, which is much easier to use, especially if you have arthritis or you have trouble holding things in your hands. This is a low flow shower head, meaning that it's rated at only two gallons per minute. And that gives you though a good amount of coverage from the head. And best of all, the water stream is really soft and it doesn't sting like needles hitting you from some really high pressure shower heads. Next, you'll want a set of quick dry towels. I like quick dry towels because unlike cotton towels, they'll dry out by the end of the day. The disadvantage is that they don't feel as nice as using a plush towel. After all, you're basically drying off with something that feels like a chamois. This is the brand I use. It's a super pack of three towel sizes, a large 50 by 30 inch towel, which is perfect for the beach, a middle lightweight towel, which is 30 by 15 inches, and a small one for drying my hands, which is 15 by 15 inches. They're antimicrobial. They can absorb up to three to four times their weight and they dry 10 times faster than regular cotton towels. They stow super easy. And best of all, all three of these plus the mesh bag cost me $17. All right, see this down here? That's a puddle of water from the last time that the shower was used. And so you don't want to be standing in that. And, and part of the problem is North American manufacturers don't put multiple drains inside the shower pan. Like all the water is gathering here in the corner. And if they would have put a drain over here and maybe in the other corner, you would have been able to have a better chance of all the water draining up. But they don't do that here in North America. And so the water tends to collect. So what you need in order to fix this problem is you need a wooden bath mat like this one. And so these aren't just for looks, you put these down. And now, even though there's a puddle of water underneath, I can go in and I can stand in here and use the bathroom without getting my feet wet, even though there's a puddle of water down below. That's why these wooden bath mats should probably come standard in every coach that's sold in North America. This is the one I use. It's the Go Bam shower mat, and it's made of 100% natural, eco-friendly bamboo. It's non-toxic, water resistant, and see these edges? They're rounded and smoothed out so as to not scratch and catch on your feet. There are nine anti-slip gaskets on the bottom to keep the mat firmly in place. And this thing is solid. They say it's been tested with the front wheel of a two-ton SUV. So. If your RV manufacturer didn't throw one of these in, go check one out on Amazon. Mine was only $29.99. Finally, you'll want a space saving heater. I set mine on the counter facing the bathroom and turn it on while I'm showering. That way when I'm done and open the door, I get blasted with a jet of inviting warm air. I love it. I also love this particular make of a heater. It's by Honeywell and it has two power settings which is unusual, but great for RVing, a standard 1500 watt setting and a lower powered 750 watt setting. Plus there's a thermostat control and a fan only setting. 
It can be oriented both vertically and horizontally, and it has two overheat sensors and a backup cutoff fuse to help prevent overheating. This heater's compact size means it stows away easily and doesn't take up a lot of room. The price? Best of all, $19.99. We now need to prep the wet bath for a shower. And while we're getting set up, we're going to start up our hot water heater and let it run for 10 to 15 minutes so that we have plenty of hot water ready to go. Our first step in prepping the wet bath is to cover any windows or other areas that need to be protected from water. So in this case, it's, my coach came with this vinyl protection for the window, so we're just gonna put that up. Next, we're gonna remove anything that we don't want in the wet bath while we're showering. And for me, that's my first aid kit, my toilet paper, and my trash can. Next, we're gonna take our shower curtain and we're gonna just draw it around and this will protect the wooden door and any of the other parts of the bathroom that need protected. In my case, it just draws across the front door. Now, if there's any places like this where it needs to be Velcroed, it's a good idea to go ahead and use that. It'll just make the shower curtain tight against the walls. So here's one. And then along this side, I have a couple as well. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. I'm now ready to take my shower. So this is your typical wet bath. Size-wise on its own, it would be a good size shower stall, three feet by two feet. But because we're in a wet bath, we're sharing the space along with the sink and the toilet, and so we're gonna have to do things differently. So for instance, you wanna wash yourself off in sections, pausing the shower head while you're washing and then only turning it on to rinse. So for instance, I would lather up and wash the upper part of my body, and then I would take the shower head, I would turn it on, and I would rinse that part of my body really well, and then I would pause the shower again, and then go and wash the rest of my body, and then take my shower head again, turn it on, and rinse. And in this way, it's just much easier because it's a constrained space inside of here, and you have to conserve water, and so this is a way for you to conserve your water. One of the benefits of the Truma AquaGo instant hot water heater is that it's constantly recirculating the water inside the hot water pipe. So when I turn my shower back on, I instantly get hot water and I don't get a blast of cold water. And that helps quite a bit in making my shower experience a great one. Now at the end, usually as a treat, I'll take my shower head and I'll turn the hot water on full blast and I'll just treat myself to about 30 seconds of a nice hot water rinse in order to just kind of make my experience a little more pleasant. It doesn't use a lot of water because this shower head's only two gallon per minute flow. Then when I come out, I've got my shower towel, I can dry off, I've got my heater pointed on the counter right at me, I've got warm air blowing right at me, and it's a really pleasant experience. Now, when we're done, we have to dry the shower stall back off again so it can be used as a regular bathroom. And so that's where I recommend that you have another set of these quick dry towels because they're really great for drying down the bathroom and then drying back out really quickly. So just wipe down the walls in places like that that got wet. In this particular case, it's only this area around the sink and this wall back here. And you just wanna wipe it all down down my shower head and then you want to wipe down around the toilet as well and then finally wipe off your bath mat now the benefit of this is once you're all done you're gonna have a really clean bathroom now as you can see there's still a puddle of water down here underneath where the water is gathering but I'm okay because I've got my wooden bath mat on top of it and it's dry and so now I can use my bathroom again, even though my van isn't quite level and I've got a puddle of water down there. Remove my vinyl cover. And the bathroom is back to being a bathroom. And that's it. Give my shower tips a try. They're inexpensive, convenient, and best of all, will result in a wonderful shower experience in your coach. And if you're looking for any of the products that I used in this video, feel free to visit my Amazon store. Anything you buy there will result in a small commission for me and helps the channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and 
Ring that little bell to be notified whenever a new video drops on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching Ultra Mobility Lifestyle, where I give you the tips and tricks for living the ultra mobile life. I'll see you again next time, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. And it's made of 100% natural eco. Uh, eco, eco. So if I do 30 seconds, I'm only using maybe a gallon of water. Then when I come out, I've got 